I'm Sophie Giuliano, and you're watching Green Girls TV. The Green Girls dot com. Well, I am an author. Um, I've authored three books. The first is called Gorgeously Green, and it's eight simple steps to an earth-friendly life. And um, I'm at this book site, uh, this event, excuse me, signing uh, my new book, which is called Do It Gorgeously. And this book shows women how to make all their own non-toxic uh, products. So beauty products, skin care, cleaners, pretty much everything that you would ever need. Um, I've been getting just a, a, a very passionate and um, infectious response. I think women really now are savvy and they want products that obviously aren't toxic, whether it's household cleaners, whether it's makeup, whether it's skincare. But why I wrote this book is that many of these products can be really expensive. And so what I wanted to do is share with women what I've been doing for 20 years or so, which is I've been making my own products. And um, it's really simple and it's really easy. And you get something that is, for the most part, superior to anything you can buy in a store. I've seen a huge change in the last uh, three years. I think there's the word green wasn't really in the vernacular maybe five years ago. Um, now, obviously, it is. Um, I think women um, really care when they see how it affects them directly and their health and their children's health. So I think that's probably the big jumping off point. I think sometimes there's a disconnection when we think about the, bit, the planet and the, and the glaciers melting or these big environmental issues. We sort of tend to bury our head in the sand because we think, well, there's nothing I can really do about it. But what I'm interested in is what I can do today. And there are many, many little things that I can do that will um, make for a much better life for me and my family. Well, first off, if you're talking about people who think there's not a problem, what I would suggest is rather than to think about uh, the planet and global warming and things like that, which obviously there's many areas that you can deny, I think the an area that might be useful to look at is pollution, because I think it's undeniable that from um, coal-powered plants, um, electricity plants, and every almost every kind of big manufacturing, there's terrible, terrible pollution. And for me, when I realized that, you know, my birthright or my child's birthright is to have clean air, food and water, and that is becoming increasingly hard to find, then it's, there's undeniably a problem. If there's one thing that somebody could do, um, I would say, first off, if you think that one thing can't really make a difference, you know, what difference is it going to make if I recycle this yogurt cup or take a reusable bag? My answer to that is the alternative is to do nothing. And if we all do nothing, then we are headed really, truly to a cataclysmic disaster. So I would say wh whatever your sweet spot is, if you are somebody who loves to shop, which I do, by the way, um, you might look at some of your shopping habits. You might make, uh, start making some different choices. You might always take a reusable bag with you wherever you go. If you're somebody who's a sporty girl and who loves going to the gym, well then make sure every gym visit you have your reusable water bottle. It's these tiny little actions. I think that it's a mindset change. So I think once women realize that you can still live a very normal, easy, glamorous, fun, gorgeous life, but you can make a few choices that are different. And by making those choices, your family is healthier, you're healthier, you save money. Um, then it becomes a thrilling game. It becomes a thrilling exercise. It's like, whoa, I can wake up this morning and instead of just dragging my foot through my chaotic day with my kids and blah, 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 which is 
you know, my day, I'm busy, crazy, you know, mother and all the rest of it. I can turn that and flip that into being something that's so exciting and thrilling, knowing that every action I take with my daughter, from packing her lunch to making sure that I've got low flow shower heads to choosing to make organic fair trade coffee rather than going to the coffee shop. All these little actions amount to me going to bed at night actually feeling really good about myself because I'm doing something. TheGreenGirls.com